Hello, my friends. Welcome to another Moon Tidings video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the upcoming full moon and blue moon that is happening March 31st at the end of this month. It's a blue moon because it is the second full moon that we're going to have this month. And so another incredible, uh, another incredible luminary event here. And this full moon is gonna be in the sign of Libra. And as you see, I'm all just like, fancied up here, I guess. Uh, I just had to stop in the middle of my day here and talk to you. I really felt just that today was the day to do this reading. And bear with me as I take a couple sips here from my coffee as well, midday coffee, it's the best, truly. Mm. But I'm gonna go ahead and start shuffling a little bit more, y'all. Let me know in the comments below how the new moon was for you guys. It was a little rough for me <laughs> and I am so ready for the moon to be in its waxing stage. I've been missing the go, go, go kind of energy and I've been waiting for some things in my personal life to just kind of take off. And I know a lot of other people who I've talked to have spoken on how they are a little impatient for things to just take off and for opportunities to show up, for, you know, waiting for callbacks, waiting for somebody to get their act together or maybe you waiting for the right time, you know, you felt the need maybe to step back and are waiting for the right time to act. Well, I'm thinking getting past this, this new moon that we just had in Pisces, we'll be able to, we'll be able to y'all. I really truly believe this is a collective thing. Whoop. I'm just kind of letting, letting the cards fall out here as I'm talking to you. Normally I take you down here with me, but this is just how I feel like it's gonna go today. So let's roll with the intuition and the card just flew. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me as I get situated here, y'all. Okay. I'm looking at these cards, y'all. We have some things to talk about. Okay, um, before we do start this reading though, and we talk about this Libra full blue moon that's happening, okay, I do want to mention that I've added a couple new things in my Etsy shop uh, in the way of intuitive readings, you know, and I just added this astro wheel chart reading, which is basically a full spectrum of your life. I know some of you guys have been asking if I have some kind of reading that just covers basically your entire life, you know, with health, with travel, with love, with marriage, with business, career, all of that. Well, this Astro Wheel Chart reading is exactly that. So check it out, y'all. Etsy shop link is going to be below in the descriptions box. And I still have happy spring or happy almost spring because I st um, have a spring code that I'm going to leave down below in the descriptions box as well. It is for 15% off any, any reading in my Etsy shop, you know, be it video, written, or phone, whatever. So I'm going to leave that 15% off code down below too, all right? And without further ado, let's talk about, I'm gonna show you these cards and uh, yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk about what's collectively popping up for us here. And I'm also gonna talk a little bit more about the astrology that's going on. And I feel like, friends, that the cards that popped out here align very well with what's going on in the astrology too, okay? So 
So I kind of want to bring out or bring up the Hierophant, which is at the bottom of the deck right now. Because this is standing out to me. The Hierophant has a lot to do with corporations, businesses, governments, structures, organizations. The Hierophant rules over those things, okay? And there's going to be some revisiting. Like the big picture, y'all, this is collective. Big picture for all of us in the world here. Where this Libra Full Moon is asking us to seek out more balance, more harmony, look at the corporations and businesses, organizations, those in power here that need, need some adjusting, that maybe need some cutting out and purging as well. You know, some rebalancing in the way of these large corporations and, and people in power. That usually the card that's on the bottom of the deck represents the underlining theme. But to me, this is kind of very representative of the whole theme throughout this full blue moon. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take you back up here with me. Let's... Ooh, ooh, ooh talk about and make more sense of this. Okay, so as you probably already saw, at the top here we have the Three of Wands, okay? Three of Wands, looking at the big picture here. Collectively, we are all kind of looking at what's going on. We're looking at the big people, people in power, the laws. We have in power, religious powers also. The Hierophant is very much about spiritual and religious powers and influences. Okay, Three of Wands. Looking at the bigger picture, looking at humanity as a whole. This is what I'm getting. Looking at humanity as a whole. And finding some new ways of inspiring and moving forward past some of these old structures, old rules, old regulations, businesses, corporations that no longer service, that no longer work in our society, that no longer work in our world, that no longer work in your life. Because this affects many, many, many individuals, okay? It all starts with the individual, and I'm telling you, collectively, I've been feeling this, so it's pretty incredible. And what we have next is the Five of Swords here, okay? And it's interesting, you know, we got a couple of fives. Fives, especially here in the tarot, typically represent more the kind of uglier and uncomfortable sides of life, you know? I mean, conflict, sadness, feeling lack, you know, like all of those things. Um, and so with the Five of Swords here, this is truly standing your ground is what I'm really picking up. Standing your ground and holding to your vision as an individual and collectively, I feel like many of us, this is what we're doing. You know, look at him. He, he has the sword in hand. He's standing his ground while these other people are walking away from him. And that's really the story that I'm getting from this card right now. It can be interpreted, sure, in another way or two, but this is a story that I'm getting with this Libra full moon and blue moon. This is about getting very clear 
and really standing up for yourself, your beliefs, and again, your vision here with the three of wands, your vision, the kind of society, the kind of business, the kind of regulations, the kind of things that you want to see, the kind of things that you want to be a part of, the world that you want to live in. You, I feel like this is a big time where a lot of us might really be standing up and speaking our minds in regards to the collective in regards to those in power, political figures, spiritual leaders, like I said, and voicing our truth here, standing our ground and saying, no, this kind of idea, this kind of paradigm, this old way perspective, it doesn't work for me anymore. So bye-bye. <laughs> You know, fight me. <laughs> like, he's, he's almost like, I almost kind of get like, he's a little bit, almost taunting a little bit, these guys who are walking away. Like, you know, fight me, fight me, challenge me. Oh, you know, let's, let's verbally spar here or let's physically get into it. Whatever it takes. I feel like many of us, that's, that's where, we, where we're going to be around this full moon is truly standing our guard and looking at the collective picture. I mean, these are like collective cards, you know, dealing with other people and the broader perspective of these institutions and organizations and governments, powers in control. Okay. Looking at what needs to go, looking at what rules and regulations Hold no power and purpose for your life, for all of our lives, and speaking up about it. You know, one person can make such a big difference. I mean, the platforms we have with social media, with YouTube, you know, all of it. We have platforms. This is the age of Aquarius. Power to the people, power to humanity, to individualism. Cheers. <laughs> so that's beautiful. And look, we end with the Knight of Cups, okay? Knight of Cups, y'all. Okay, Knight of Cups, the story I'm getting here is with the Knight of Cups, this is going to be this kind of movement, this kind of shift and change in perspective and voicing your truth, standing your ground, not letting your emotions get the better of you either. Not letting your emotions get the better of you. You're going to experience a much more freeing, an emotionally balanced sort of feeling. Like, and on an individual level, I feel like this is, this is like that corporation or that job, that boss, whatever, meeting you here, meeting you and giving you what it is that you need, what it is that is best going to serve and support you. This person right here is giving you. is giving to you rather than you having to give, sorry, give to them. So to me, this is, again, this is a lot of us, you know, standing our ground, standing up for ourselves. And when we do that, when we say this, this doesn't work for me, these regulations, this dress code at work, even, does not work for me. This kind of behavior does not work for me. So let's talk. And I feel like many, many of us, you're getting your way. You're getting your way with the Knight of Cups. It's more about others meeting you. And as, as a whole, those corporations, 
leaders, people in power are, are going to have to come to your level. They're going to have to see things from your perspective because it's actually you and all of us as humanity as a whole who have the power. And a lot of us are going to be seeking justice around this time. It is a Libra full moon. It's the scales. It's justice. Things that have to do with contracts, okay? There could be, I will say also, there could be some contracts that you should be wary of. You know, with the Five of Swords and with the Hierophant both too, I just, I, I intuitively feel like some of us, this could work out, but double check those leases. Double check the paperwork if you're buying a home. Double check your visas. Double check uh, job contracts, you know, signing on to a new job because you, there is a need to really, really analytically look at in a very practical way what institutions, what businesses, what business partnerships especially are going to have your back, okay? So you do have to exercise caution and really stand your ground and, and analyze the situation, analyze the offer, analyze the contract. And when you do that, you support meets you. The universe meets you in a very pleasant and emotionally stable sort of way. And now I'm gonna pull a couple of runes as well, y'all. So let's, let's go back down. And this time, I won't forget to show you what I'm doing. So. <laughs> So let's just get some clarity here with these cards. Okay, this is the blank rune. So you see no symbol and they call this weird. This is the rune of fate, cosmic fate, things outside of your control, okay? Okay, Legaz. talk about Zilrun's shall we? Let's, let's just put it all together. I'm pulling, I'm not doing the animal spirit cards for this uh, full moon, moon tidings reading. So, but we're using runes to kind of give clarity and tie it all together. Okay, so it's interesting. Okay, we have weird, you know, cosmic fate. This is like bigger picture. And this is like, these things are gonna happen no matter what. That's what weird speaks of, okay? And right next to the Three of Wands. Resonates, okay? And you know, Legaz, I drew Legaz here for the Five of Swords. It's kind of fascinating here because Five of Swords is more about using your intellect and analyzing the situation. Legaz encourages you really also to take a more of an intuitive and psychic sort of look at it. You know, go with your gut feeling. But to me, this also is ringing because Legaz occasionally can ring as a something secret. You know, because it does have to do with intuition and internal sort of feelings, you know, and so those are not internal feelings aren't external, are they? <laughs> you know, 
So it is, it is about finding out people's true intentions and the true intentions of that business, that boss, that spiritual leader, corporation, government, finding, divulging true meanings and intentions. Yeah, and, and they are coming to the surface. I mean, we have awful here. And with the Knight of Cups, This is like, I feel like this is, for some of us, you know, this is very real offers and very real support systems coming in for us as long as you stand your ground and you say no and you voice your, your values, voice your values to this person. Um... On the other hand, with awful here, you know, in the bigger picture again, is this is going back because awful is also the rune of inherited traits of the past in a lot of ways. It's also the rune of possessions, you know, in material sort of things and gains, but I'm picking up, especially with the Hierophant there, it's about going far back, far back down the lineage, far back into our spiritual structures and rules and even laws that we have in place and truly going back and looking at those and as a people uniting and you know you see these people down here with the hierophant people in power having to listen to you having to listen to us like not being able not being able to avoid the people and the people's best interests and the people's what the people really want And so I'm shuffling just a little bit more here because I want to get one more card to kind of pull it all together. And I did want to share with y'all too in the astrology, I think it's kind of amazing. You know, the moon is squaring Mars. The moon is squaring Saturn. I don't know if I, well, maybe I shouldn't call that amazing. What the heck can be is that, that is challenging because Saturn is like the father figure. Saturn rules, rules, and regulations, and laws put in place. Ah, sorry, I just dropped a bunch of cards. And Saturn rules those limitations and all that stuff. And then Mars is the warrior planet, okay? And about uh, divulging truths and being courageous with yourself and your values and what you have to say and standing up for yourself and being that warrior spirit embracing that okay and both of those planets being squared by the moon there could be some conflict for sure coming up and some very uncomfortable things in the big picture here um yeah Authority figures being challenged, people standing up for their values and voicing and voicing your true nature and your truth, okay? And then, I mean, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to sugarcoat it for you guys. So, I mean, also know that the moon is in opposition of the sun and of Mercury at, on this day as well, on this day of the Libra full blue moon, okay? So there, oppositions and squares are the more challenging aspects in the astrology. And what I'm intuitive, intuitively picking up with this as well, especially with those squares, is a 
we are being challenged and encouraged to truly express ourselves. The sun is very much about self-expression, shining your light. Mercury is the planet of communication, writing, speaking, voicing your truth. Okay? So, speaking your truth. Okay? And again, double, double checking those contracts. Oh, wow. Okay. So, let's, let's get back here to the cards. So, we just had the Seven of Swords fall out here, too. Okay, so, you know, around this full moon, those people who are sneaky, those people who don't have your best intentions at heart, that business partner, those corporations, these new laws, maybe, that are trying to get past all of it. This speaks of sneaky and cutting through the bullshit and, yeah, exposing, exposing these things and these sneaky people and corporations that do not, do not have a place in your life or in any of our lives. <laughs> and, but at the bottom of the deck here, look, look, look at what we have kind of wrapping up the ace of swords. Okay. There's a lot of sword air energy here, which makes sense. Libra is an air sign. Ace of swords though, look, power to the people coming out on top. Okay. New ideals, new and better contracts coming together. So that's what I have for you guys for this Libra full blue moon that is happening on the 31st of this month. I knew this was going to be kind of intense. I was already feeling it. And that's why I was, I was really feeling it today. And I was just like, this, this is, this is going to be something. This is going to be some kind of full moon. And even though there's a lot of challenging stuff and some conflict can and will end up breaking out, this, this has to be done. We have to speak our truths and share our values and stand our ground and do away with those rules or those laws or those people in society or in your community that don't have the best intentions and that need to go. This Libra full moon is going to be perfect for shining a light on all of those things and the sneaky, de deceptive little heifers out there. <laughs> you know, th this is the time where it's going to be exposed and more stories. And I can't tell y'all all the details, um, but there's something happening in my personal life uh, with my, uh, involving my family, where something from our past kind of, the shadow side of our past is coming out and me and my sister are speaking to the media, are speaking to the media about our story and sharing our story and testimony. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject right now, but those interviews and stuff happen a few days before this full moon. And it is very much about exposing hidden things and challenging the justice system in a lot of ways. And so that's pretty incredible. Whenever Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to leave it at that though, guys. Okay. So let me know though, what starts happening for you three days before, three days after, during this full moon in Libra. Okay. Because like I said, I got my own personal stuff going on and I want to say more right now. I do, but, but I'm not going to yet. Um, and I'll probably share more later, but let me know what's going on in y'all's lives. Uh, what transpires for you and happens around this time. And if you're already collectively feeling 
this energy. Just shoot me a comment. And yeah, don't forget guys, to check out the 15% off discount code, which is gonna be below and whatnot. I will see y'all for next month's readings in April. And for those of you who are tuning in right before spring here or right around spring, happy spring, at least in the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Happy winter, fall? Fall, right? Yeah. So anyways, guys, take care, embrace, share your values and your truths around this full moon. It's gonna be fine, okay? Talk to you later.